Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and um, I'm going to be telling you how we ended up this the way we, we did in today's time. Why are we so cold these days? Why is everyone in America so lukewarm and cold and just not on fire for God? Why is there so many riots? Why is there so much sin in this whole entire world? Why is this going on? Why are there so many riots and all that? To specify this, this was prophesied 2,000 year, years ago <clears throat> that this would happen. Not only was it prophesied, prophesied 2,000 years ago that this would happen, but exactly what would happen today. However, this does not stop um, you from not understanding how this could happen. Because this is all spiritual, actually. Every bit of this is spiritual. And to, um, go on a bit of extra expertise in someone else's uh, view, and, um, just to explain what was going on. Do you know what the Ice Bucket Challenge was? Do you know what the, was going on with the Ice Bucket Challenge? Well, someone started the Ice Bucket Challenge for Alzheimer's, right? Well, that person was actually either a witch or a wizard. Female or male. Anyway, this person had evil intention to bring the world and bring his world down to um, disgrace and sin. To bring his wor the world in ruin and by sin because by letting everyone do this was actually, I mean, this, this is not where you're going to understand this, but to the world that d doesn't understand this, but pe the Christ people of Christ understand this. This person had a, um, basically, he just had people um, write their own um, contract to the devil by doing the ice bucket challenge, bucket challenge, and um, basically, what he just did was, all right, if you do that, then you're letting Satan have control of the whole entire world and bringing this world in down in shame and destruction by sin, by cold, by the cold heart. And since everyone has now a cold heart, by this ice bucket challenge, why not make this worse by <laughs> doing it again because no one knows about the ice bucket challenge. This was done literally, like the ice bucket check, the, the ice bucket, <clears throat> I can't talk. The ice bucket thing was actually done like literally in the 90s, 80s and before this time. Ice was this thing that, pe that people would go into um, you know, like lakes of ice and gather ice and then put the ice on top of their heads even in times of bad ale and also literally just get the uh, ice bucket thing or put the ice in the bucket or ice in a jar not only do not just preserve it but also put it you know to make the, cold, the world cold they did it in Israel, they did it in all those state, uh, states because they didn't want to have the people putting their um, rule over everyone with God's law. They did not want God in their country. So they said, okay, why don't we do the, the witchcraft and also put ice in the coldest areas of the world, in the winters of the world, and gather ice and preserve it and put it in jars and put it over our heads during the winters and all they do that but also do it against Israel so that they may um, fall away from God and they actually did fall away from God to, to, uh, to tell you right now yeah basically to do the ice bucket challenge was not just one small little thing it was just almost everyone did that to, uh, you know, let's say, quote unquote, get rid of Alzheimer's, which is good to do, but really to get rid of Alzheimer's is to put science into play, which is also another form of witchcraft. 
So to say, we must sin instead of have Alzheimer's. What about the old people? Okay, we'll get rid of those people by implication of, you know, having um, science instead of old people and have people become older in generation, then it's, it's very complex, but you know, the aspect of the challenge is really more like a, you know, contract to Satan just to say, okay, everyone sin. And that's just a contract that all the people made without even knowing it. To say, Satan, I want you to have control over, over the whole entire world. Because that's what everyone in the world did in order to uh, do the ice bucket challenge. And actually, I believe that's the very reason why this world's going crazy. This world's going under chaos and all that because of this stupid ice bucket challenge, you know? Just remember that if there's any challenges in the world that are for the world and all that, that even the Christians do the ice bucket challenge and other things like that. If anyone does anything very stupid, like let's for, say, let's say for say, like you know, grab a coffin and I don't know, like I don't know, like there might be something in the coffin, like I don't know, like memories. Let's let's just put memories in your coffin that you know of and just do that for the whole entire world and everyone will divorce each other you know just put memories in the coffin in a small coffin in a box actually yeah yeah that, that can out that can work put memories in a box and put them in under um, the ground six feet under and see how that works out for the people that you've just cursed yeah, memories. That can be a thing. Because I know a form of Satanism by myself. Because I know that these people that do witchcraft and Satanism, they know exactly what they're doing. Or maybe <laughs> put a cross in the um, coffin and just saying, I do not want the cross anymore. And then everyone gets the mark of the beast. Because I bet that's going to be a challenge three years later after um, yeah three years later not three and a half years but three years later people will have a challenge of putting their crosses in the um, box and putting it six feet under or putting yes I would say yeah putting crosses in the coffin let's say some sort of large coffin and doing all kinds of crosses in the coffin because they don't like it and then they all get the mark of the beast because that's what's going on the world is so fooled and baffled by these things but the foolish in the world does not understand any of these things remember this is what Satanism does his plan is to get a contract from everyone to get them to have oppression at night and possession in day and that contract is just to tell them, okay, you've done this for me, so I may harm you now because you basically are an enemy of mine. But it doesn't matter, does it? Because you've done this for me, now I do this for you. It's an evil contract. For they make you scream at night and they make you just. They make you scream at night, and they make you, um... Where's the camera? Oh, <laughs> sorry. They make you scream at night, and they, um... Give you nightmares, and they... Do horrible things with your body. And everything just like that. And not only that... They do it to everyone else. All that just to get people to hell. To be with them. So they can curse them, and basically even... Harm them completely, and kill them. Now they can't kill you, but they would love to kill you. So only God can kill you, and that's how they get people to be killed as a second death. And that is what Satan wants to do in the end. 
And he's already won that part. However, he hasn't won the salvation of Jesus through us. He hasn't won the part of Jesus giving us salvation through him, I meant to say. And by him giving us salvation, he is basically defeated Satan because sin is no longer. And if you still want to have sin, then that's on your part. But you'll still be but you'll basically be cursed from heaven forever. But Jesus will still win. Cursed from heaven means you no no longer be part of heaven. However, this is what salvation really is, to be on the final message. This is what salvation is. Accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because he's already done it for you. By dying on the cross, he's accepted you in his kingdom. So accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So you accept yourself be with Jesus. Since he's already accepted you into his kingdom. The world will not understand this, but if you know that you're a sinner and have a fear for hell from God that's going to judge you from hell that message beforehand is a message of wisdom so anyway if you're wondering how do I flee from hell if you're wondering that I accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior as he accepted you into his kingdom by dying on the cross for you okay Alright, I'll be done now, okay? Bye.